Welcome to Picture Healer channel. Today we are going to go back to the basics and talking about feng shui rules for each room. And we will start with living room feng shui today. We did have similar videos from several years ago, but if you are new to feng shui, this series can be helpful. The first rule about living room feng shui is the size of the room and the brightness. In general, we want the living room to be bigger and brighter compared to other rooms in the house. So usually this is probably the biggest room of the house. And generally we want the bedrooms to be smaller and darker so you can rest better and have more privacy. And the living room should have more windows and the lighting and just a bigger space overall for air and the qi circulation. If the living room is smaller and darker than the bedroom, it's not a good feng shui. And we should try to change that, maybe add lighting or open up the space or add more mirrors. The second point is about sofa placement. Sofa is the biggest furniture in living room and we sit on the sofa for a long time. So the placement is very important. First, we want to avoid sofa placed in the traffic flow. If it's directly in front of the door or in the hallway or in the path that people walk by all the time, that's not the ideal placement for sofa. And we should also avoid a big window or doors behind the sofa. The ideal placement is to have a solid wall behind or something big, tall and solid behind the sofa. It gives you some privacy, support and make you feel more secure and safe when you are sitting there for a long time. And we want to arrange the sofa so it's best we can see the incoming traffic. When people enter the room, we can see who's coming instead of with our back to the door. When we can see people coming to the room and uh, we are positioned away from the door, it's called a power position. So you are more in charge and you feel more secure and supported. The third important point people want to know about the living room feng shui is to find the money corner or the wealth corner. There are many ways to find your money corner and you can have many different money corners in a house. And in a very general sense, the 45 degrees from your entrance door in the living room is your money corner. Or you can say it's a far corner away from your door. And if it's not an appropriate area, find another corner that's away from the door. The ideal money corner should have solid wall behind, so it's more supported and uh, enclosed, that means the qi or energy can accumulate there. And try to avoid the area with a lot of glasses, windows, doors, or middle of pathway. If there's a lot of windows and uh, doors behind that corner, then it's not an ideal place as a money corner because the qi flows out too quickly and you cannot accumulate wealth. In that case, you can look for the secondary corner to see if it's more enclosed. If there's no alternative, you can add heavy curtain or add some solid furniture to block the view or add more planes to slow down the qi flow and that will be better for a money corner. To set up a money corner, you can add any symbols of abundance, including crystals, candles, money toad, money god, or feng shui animals such as pisho. And people like to add the coin banks there or a jar with coins and the crystals in it. 
There's no strict rule of what you should place in the wealth corner. Just have small collection that symbolize abundance for you. Use what you have and what you can afford at that time. You can always upgrade later. The next topic is about art, such as paintings, photography, and sculptures. There are some popular and classic feng shui images for the living room. The first one is about landscape. Usually it includes some mountains and water. It can be waterfall or ocean or lake or river and some tall, beautiful mountains. This type of painting can represent a bright future. Even though our living room is limited, a beautiful landscape painting is kind of like a window bring you to the bigger outdoor space. In feng shui, the mountain usually represents health and a relationship, and the water represents money. So the mountain and water painting brings health and a relationship luck. And we have to be careful about the water flow direction in the painting. We try to position it so the water is not flowing out of the door or the window because we don't want the money to flow out of the door. And make sure in the painting you pick, the mountain is beautiful and lush. Some mountains are bare or has a strange sharp angle or just rocks. We try to avoid those paintings because of the negative association. The next example of an auspicious painting for living room is flowers, especially the peony flowers. It's traditionally very auspicious in Chinese culture because the flowers are very big, beautiful, and it's usually associated with royal family. So you can display images or paintings of peony flowers in the living room. The next one is a koi fish painting. The koi fish or the carp fish in Chinese culture symbolize the promotion or advancing career and uh, well slack because the uh, fish like to jump. It's a symbol of getting promotion or moving on to the next level. The nine koi fish is very popular because number nine is the largest yang number. So this is a very auspicious image. Next, we want to talk about some common problems in the living room. The first one is a sofa positioned under a bean or a lowered ceiling. If the ceiling is very tall and there are some beans above the sofa, it's not a big problem. But when the bean is low, you will feel more stressed. And that can symbolize obstacles and the stress in your life. One way is to cover up the bean or move the sofa to a different location. But if you cannot do that, there are some remedies you can try. The first one is to hang a hulu gourd or a flute under the ceiling, maybe on both sides of the sofa near the ceiling. Or you can display some crystals or add some up lighting to give the illusion of the height and brightness. The crystals can raise positive energy, so it can counter the compressed ceiling. Another common feng shui mistake is to make it too bright and open or too dark and enclosed. We don't want to go extreme in either direction. Most people like a very bright and very open living room because of the good window views and uh, it does bring a lot of young energy. But too much brightness and windows can become a problem in feng shui. It can mean qi flows so quickly, the space cannot hold the qi long enough. It just scattered easily. And when it's too dark or too enclosed, we know it will bring too much in energy and that can affect our health too. So it's about the balance, too much or too little 
will become a problem. If it's too open, we can add more heavy curtain or bigger furniture or more planes to block the view and create different smaller spaces. And if it's too dark, we try to open up the window, change the furniture and wall to a lighter color and try to add more lightings. And the last issue is also the two opposite. It can be too bare and minimal or too cluttered. In the past few years, many people like the minimalist look. They try to cut down the furniture and the artwork and even eliminate the sofa completely. Sometimes it can be too extreme and make the space look really bare and that can become a symbol of emptiness and it's the opposite of the prosperity or abundance we like. And on the other hand, it can be too cluttered with a lot of decoration, a lot of old objects, or just lack of organization. And in feng shui, when the place is really messy, that's when the problem starts. Most of the time, a space is neutral. But if you make it really messy, smells bad, or with a lot of junk, that becomes a sha qi, and you will start causing problems. So try to avoid extremes. You can have different styles that matches your personality and lifestyle, but keep it updated regularly and keep it organized and cleaned regularly. If you can follow the rules above, you have a very lucky living room feng shui. When everything is balanced, matching your lifestyle and reflecting your personality, it will be just the right feng shui for you. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.